This video tutorial reviews high tibial osteotomy in the varus knee. This 2D planning will result in knowing the cut angle required for the osteotomy. We begin with the limb deformity module, adult in this case, and choose from the long leg icon planning. Open the long leg image and scale accordingly. Confirm oversize is used in this case. Select mechanical axis deviation wizard and we'll see that the construct appears on the screen. Click between the circle and the square and move it approximately over the femoral head. Similarly with the knee and also the ankle. Then by clicking locally to the hip we zoom in. Centre the circle to the femoral head, outlining to establish the femoral head centre. Move the crossed box over the piriformis fossa and then move down. At the knee joint, two sets of handles, one representing the base or the outside of the femoral condyles and the other set which can be used at the most distal point on the tibial plateau or on the outside. Both sets of handles are designed to establish the centre of the knee joint. So again, scrolling or panning down, we come to the ankle. Here we centre over the talus, establishing the ankle joint. Remove the magnification to see the results. The red line represents the mechanical axis and here the deviation is reported with normal range also supplied. If the actual value is in red it defines it as being out of range. Other values which vary by less are also shown. The next step is to move to the axis definers. Removing the mechanical axis deviation wizard we choose, as we're looking at the tibia, on the tibial joint axis definer and the ankle joint axis definer. A cora may be shown, as this is used for deformity planning, although this is not of particular interest in this case. Zooming back into the area, again by clicking and then clicking on the zoom button, we want to create a manual cut. Right click anywhere on the yellow line to create a cut of your choice. Open for this particular procedure. A circular component is shown and this will represent the hinge of the cut. Place this and then drag the arrow end to whichever point is best for the cut. Once this is positioned, we can choose the reduce button. The purple circle represents the hinge point move it to the hinge area of the cut. Now expand the image and magnify to a level to see the knee and ankle in the window. By dragging the mechanical axis laterally we can now establish our cut angle. The mechanical axis is represented by the gold line and it needs to be, according to the literature, moved to the Fuji sour point or 62% from medial to lateral either measure and calculate the percentage exactly or we can use the line tool to approximate 62%. Outline the joint, right click to show properties and choose number of segments. Type in 5 for the segments and the line is broken into 5 portions with the third portion representing 60%. If we now take the handle at the ankle and drag until the gold line is around the 60% mark or as best suits the case. The cut angle has now been established and the angulation can be read here, corrected angulation, 12 degrees. Looking at the full view, this is what's been created. If needed, the height of the cut can be measured. So selecting this and going to a higher magnification, we then choose the line tool 
and with a marker system in place, an exact measurement could be made. To apply a fixation template, this is possible, or just end here. Choose Add New Procedure tab, Fracture Management, and the plate of choice, here, Medial High Tibia Plate. Add Procedure. Now move to Templating tab, where the plate is shown. Move it to the approximate region of interest and zoom in. Move into position and manage rotation. Position the screws according to length, making any adjustments as appropriate. Once completed, this now ends the procedure and the image can be saved or committed. The last screen shown will be the one that is saved to the PAC system. This ends the tutorial on high tibial osteotomy for the varus knee.